The Nigerian government just announced that Dubai is uh, stopping male below the age of Nigerian male below the age of 30 from coming to Dubai. Shouldn't the Nigerian government be actually uh, against um, a foreign government profiling its citizens? Because this is really not good for the for for Nigeria. How do we punish cultism? It's under our constitution. We don't know it. So I think, honestly speaking, a few Nigerians have taken bad behavior too far. And we have to admit and accept that. It's not about profiling, it's not about generalizing. It has gone too far. So what the Dubai authorities have done is this. They've made their visa processes more stringent. So before, now to go to if you are below 30, no visa for you, mill below 30 is very difficult. The big is so stringent that you're not likely to fulfill it. It doesn't matter who you are. Secondly, if you're going to Dubai now, you, you have to provide a six-month um, bank account. You have to have your return ticket, and you must show proof of accommodation. Where are you going to stay? And if you lie about where you're going to stay, they're going to know. So they're going to tell you back. And I want to use the opportunity to warn Nigerians that if you do all those things and you get to the airport, they will turn you back and they will say, oh, save me, save me. It will be difficult. So let's learn to obey lots of other countries and just do the right things because there are too many good Nigerians in Dubai, too many good Nigerians. And what I'm glad they've done is they've come together to tell their own stories and tell the authorities that this is where we are. Don't judge us by these people. We're only here. We're working diligently. We're spending our money and we're contributing to your economy. So I hope that works. We keep sensitizing and raising the awareness, but it's a bad case. And uh, the Minister of State Foreign Affairs was in Dubai a few days ago. There's been another round of talks of the Binational Commission. Some MOUs have been signed. So there will be continued engagement on the bilateral level, but most importantly, the ball actually is in the court of Nigerians who are going to leave and walk in Dubai to stop just giving us a bad name.